Hey everybody, it's Homebrew Help again, and I'm today I'm going to be showing you how to create and put in your custom new Super Mario Bro Wii stages. Now, for this, I recommend you have a few things. First of all, I recommend that you use a USB backup launcher, that way you don't have to keep wasting your discs or whatever you use to play your custom ISOs. Uh, you're going to need Wii, a WBFS manager to install your ISO. You're also going to need Wii Scrubber. And you'll need Reggie New Super Mario, Re New Super Mario Bros. Wii Level Editor. Now, first let's start off by making sure you have a copy of your New Super Mario Bros. Wii game. You're going to want to keep the base one in case you accidentally mess up, so go to Wii Games. Here's the Here's the regular New Super Mario Bros. Wii, and here's a copy and paste I just did and renamed it to Newer Super Mario Bros. Wii. So now that we have a copy, we're going to want to go onto our desktop, and we're going to want to create a folder, <coughs> and name it New Super Mario Bros. Wii Level. That's fine. It doesn't have to be that name, that's just what I'm going to use. Now we're going to go into our Wii Scrubber 1.4, I'm going to load the uh, load the new Ur Super Mario Bros. Wii ISO that the copy we made off of the base one. Um, and new Ur Super Mario Bros. Wii. Okay, and we're going to open up partition one. Now this is going to have everything you're going to need. So what you're going to want to do is right click it, go to unencrypted partition, and extract. And we're going to go to that folder we just made, New Super Mario Bros. Wii Level, and OK. And now it's going to save that everything that's in that folder, the giant partition in there. Now while you're waiting for that, make sure you have um, Reggie waiting for uh, waiting for you. Which you're, when Reggie opens up, it's going to ask you for this. It's going to ask you for the game's stage folder. And the reason we're extracting this right now is to get the stage folder. So I'll skip this part and I'll meet up with you guys when it's done. Alright, now that we Scrubber has finished extracting our partition, we're going to uh, choose this on Reg and we're going to choose the stage folder in our new Super Mario Bros. Wii folder. And click OK. And Reggie should open up and it should look like this. This is level 1 1, the very first level in new Super Mario Bros. Wii. And as you see, this is what Reggie's GUI looks like. This is pretty much Reggie. This is the very first release of Reggie, everything that you're going to basically need. Now, to uh, get this is very simple. What you would do is right, you click what you want to put down, and then you're going to right click to place the object. It's as easy as that. I really haven't seen anything quite as simple as that. And one right there. And to show you guys what I had some trouble with, I had to figure out on my own how to put in a warp pipe. We'll just do some really basic stuff and then I'm going to show you guys how to install it. So there's that warp pipe right there. We're going to head over to this door icon and you're going to right click on this warp pipe. Now you see how that just showed up, that number two? Double click that number two and it's going to be ID2 as it shows right here. So it's going to have a destination ID. Make your destination ID three because there's no three right now. Okay, and we're going to go over here And we're going to make another warp pipe. I don't know about you guys, but when I used the blue warp pipe, it didn't work. It, the game would always freeze right there, so I'm not sure if the blue warp pipe works. I know for a fact that the green and yellow do. Alright, so ID3, so that means that the des it, since on the last one we chose destination ID3, that means it's going to show up right here. We'll make this destination ID2, so it goes back to the first one. Alright. And remember that what we've edited is those two war the war pipes and those two power ups we put right here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to click File and then we're going to Save Level. We're going to X out, and then what you want to do is you're going to make sure you kept Wii Scrubber. You open it up and we're going to go to Stage. And since we edited level 011, we're going to replace. We're going to go into the folder that we uh, put the new Super Mario Bros. Wii in. So new Super Mario Bros. Wii level, and then we're going to go to stage, and 1-1. Since we, make sure you saved it when you left. So 
going to say successfully replaced, and now it's just going to restart the ISO. So now we'll X out a Wii Scrubber, yes, and open up your WBFS manager, choose the drive for your uh, USB, and click Browse. And new were Super Mario Bros. Wii, since that's the one we've been using with Wii Scrubber. <coughs> open it up, click it, and add it to the drive. Alright, now the WBFS manager th has added our ISO. Keep in mind, it will say new Super Mario Bros. Wii, even though you added new were. It's because the game ID, WBFS manager looks up the game ID and it makes the title according to the ID. So keep in mind, even make sure you click new were, even though it's going to say new. It will also say it on your USB launcher, which is what you're going to on your Wii right now. Okay guys, make sure we have our USB stick in the back of our Wii and we're going to head over to USB launcher. And there's our new Super Mario Bros. Wii. We're going to start it up. Remember, like I said, it's going to say new Super Mario Bros. Wii, not newer. That's because of the title ID. And all we changed was World 1 1, which we gave the Fire Flower and the Penguin Suit. And we also added uh, the Warp Pipes. And we're just going to start the level and grab a mushroom and go back, but so we can show you the power-ups that they worked also. But you can also see that... There we go, there's the warp pipe we added. Let's just grab a mushroom and leave the world. And then we're just going to start it over. Now that we can, we can, oh, or not, oh well. That's unfortunate. And we'll get that other power up. And there's our penguin suit. So there's Penguin Mario, and we'll go, now let's go down the warp pipe that we made. And there you are. And now let's go back down that one. It should take you back to the other one. Remember guys, it's not going to be perfect. It's still a little off. Maybe I did something wrong, I'm not entirely sure, but that's how you put in custom levels to New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Thanks for watching.